and I had to get out of Detroit as fast as possible because too many of my friends were ending up dead or in jail. Dead or in jail. I love my cousin Chico. Man, I used to hang around my cousin Chico as much as, as much as I could. He was, he was cool, and he always had a lot of money. Y'all like to hang around people with a lot of money, don't you? Tell the truth to be honest. All right. You like to hang around. I used to like to hang around Chico because he had a lot of money, but there was one problem was, was the way he made his money. See, Ms. Brooks, Chico used to sell dope, and he used to sell so much dope that he had other rival gangs coming after him trying to take him out of the business. And then and things got so bad where Chico, you know, people, real big, mean people would come and talk to Chico, and I would just run. And just, you know what I'm saying? Friends is one thing, but man, when big, people bigger than me start coming around you and act like they want to fight, I just get a run reflex in me, and I just can't help it. It's just, I mean, hey, some people survive Detroit by fighting, some people survive by running. Okay, I ain't shame. Y'all can laugh at me now. I'm alive. <laughs> But, but I can't say that same thing for my cousin Chico because my cousin Chico refused to change the people he hung around. He, he, he wanted to continue in that life, gang banging, selling that dope. He wanted to continue. And, 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 and it was kind of cool because I understood why he wanted to can you continue because at the age of 19, he had a Lamborghini. Oh, I used to enjoy rolling with Chico because I was like, what? <laughs> what? Roll down the windows. Oh, we rolling. Man, until the People started hanging around, and, and, and people that made me nervous. People that had weapons all over them and had hits out on them, and man, uh, it didn't end well for my cousin Chico. My cousin Chico ended up with 181 bullet holes in his truck. 124 of them in his body. And I, and I, and I use the body term loosely really loosely. As a matter of fact, I use that term so loosely that they removed Chico's body from that truck with a shovel and bucket. Hanging around the wrong crowd. Now most of you likely will never hang around that kind of crowd. I hope. I hope. I hope you make better choices than that. But let me ask you, just, what, what are the people doing that are hanging around you? As you begin to take inventory of your friends, and a lot of times since you've been in college all this time, a lot of your, your, your hang around compadres have been schoolmates and they've been studying and things like you have and all of that's good. But let me, let, let me ask you, what are your choices going to be when you're not in school? What are your choices going to be after you leave the launching pad? Are you going to continue to hang around parasites? Or are you going to do the right thing and get around people who have goals and dreams in their lives? Are you going to get around people who can mentor you and pull you in the right direction versus sucking the life out of you and pulling you down? Young people, repeat this after me. I must make good choices and whom I hang around.